Welcome to the MTD Technical Corner. Today we have the pleasure to be joined by the founder of MTD, Paul Jones. And we also have the privilege to be reviewing the Unica range from Groupers Parpers. Now they have three different models within the range, the Blisk, the Blade and the Mecha. Now these machine tools are very specific to their applications. Let's start with the blade. Yeah, well, you're right, they are. And so often, link and commonly, both mean the same, I suppose. We talk about machines being created and crafted to do a variety of different functions. You know, mill turn machines, milling machines that can turn, turning machines that can mill. This machine, as you correctly identified, is specifically really for a, for a task. Um, and if you're machining a blade, this, this is absolutely perfect because you've got this kind of traveling column style machine with um, you can only class this as like a between centers, but it's not, it's more than that. It's, it's built into the machine. It's like two full fourth axis units that are actually integrated into the base of the machine in order to, to support the blade. Um, but not only just support the blade, but actually um, synchronize while the blades being machined, which as you know, with, with, with blades, it's so important to get the precision right. Absolutely, Paul. I absolutely love this range of machine tools because they, they seem to be the, the machine tools have been designed and built around the component rather than being a generic machine tool for multiple components as you alluded to. With the rotary tables being synchronized for the blade production, um, you don't get any kind of uh, lag from one rotary table to the other. And there's also movement and stroke in between them. So if you're doing smaller blades or larger blades, and then you've got the jerk rates, um, acceleration and deceleration and when you come round um, the blades. But that is what it's designed for, blade manufacturer, aerospace blade manufacturer. And you've got to look at how the machine's built here, which, which they lead into. Um, the fact that these are not cast, these, these aren't cast bases, these are alloy steel bases, which, you know, is done for weight reasons, is done for rigidity reasons, um, just to give you a, a, a brilliant foundation to be able to machine those blades accurately. So that, that foundation, where it all starts from, Paul, is, is, is one of the keys. I mean, you know, we always say, you know, the foundation is where everything's built upon. Um, and by having that kind of special alloy foundation, it really d does enhance the machine tool performance. Now, we're going to move on now, Paul, um, to the Blisk manufacturing uh, machine from Unica, um, part of the Groupers Parpus range of machine tools. Now, horizontal spindle, uh, a trunnion configuration. Why is it so important that the spindle is in a horizontal orientation? Well, this is a good time to talk about this because this actual is common throughout the, the previous machine and this one as well, where you've got this horizontal spindle. Um, you've got an encasing round it as well, which gives it full support as the rams moving, moving in and out, which, um, and also certainly with this, what you don't want to do sometimes is move the Y axis towards the spindle because you're carrying all that weight backwards and forwards. Why not move the spindle to the part, which is what you're doing with a ram, which that you've got here. Now, the, the, the fact that you're machining a blisk here, the, again, the ultimate in precision, in accuracy, harder materials, you know, all, all, of, all of those those dynamics you talk about, jerk rate, very, very important with, with this style of application. This trunnion in itself is huge, you can see it. I mean, you know, this this is a, a you know, a, a real mammoth solid um, table here. And again, it won't just be supported one side and driven the other, it will be driven both sides, which is key in order to get the, the most dynamic um, machining capabilities. Again, synchronization, Paul, and, and accuracy and surface finish. Um, perfect it, it, for blades, absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, sorry, for blisks. Blisks yeah. and impellers, absolutely yeah. perfect application. Um, moving on to the final model in the, the unique range, the, the, the Mecha. Now, this has got a rotary table built into the bed of the machine. Um, the head looks like it's a tilting head here, Paul. Can you tell us, uh, tell our audience a little bit more about this particular model from the Unica range? Yeah, well, I mean, what, what you've got here is more of a machine that's sort of built for multi-purpose reasons, really. So again, you're not, you're not pigeonholing this one specifically to an application. You, you, you're talking about versatility. You're talking about a table here that's got a, you know, a, an axis movement, a C axis, call it, in the, in the bed of the machine. More scope for larger parts, traveling column. Again, linear motors, these machines. So um, 
Linear motors are great for accuracy, they're great for speed, um, less wear, all of those things are quite important when you're looking at how the machine machine moves around. So this machine would be focused on speed, accuracy. Um, again, you've got your, your horizontal head here, which is, uh, sorry, your Y-axis, which is coming out from the RAM itself, which means the table's fixed, which means you're not moving a big table left to right or backwards and forwards, which again, when it comes to a machine wearing and the machine's longevity and repairs that you might need and maintenance that you might need on a machine, they're gonna be less when you've got a machine that's built in this way. And all these machines come with thermal compensation. How important is this? Controlling accuracy, um, controlling precision on small, large, and very high value parts is critical to manufacturing processes. These machines, thermal compensation, uh, control of, uh, of the growth, um, scales, which gives you feedback to your control, which in order it makes you be able to maintain tolerances over long periods of time. You know, all of these things are massively, massively important when you're trying to machine to tight tolerances over long periods of time. And linear, linear motors uh, and scales play also a big part in this, do they, Paul? They do. I mean, I got involved in linear motors two or three decades ago with a machine tool manufacturer that I used to work for. And they've come on leaps and bounds since then because in the early days, there was quite a few issues with heat. There was quite a few issues with reliability. But these days, they're, they're few and far between. Um, the, the linear motor technology is really about um, increasing speed, um, reducing you know the wear on a machine because it is driven by that 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 mag, uh, that motor as as said so there it's a technology which now is well proven um, and is great for high precision machining Paul it's been an absolute pleasure for me I just love the fact that these machine tools are built around a component rather than being a generic machine tool so if you're a manufacturer of a certain part such as a blade blisk which we've mentioned Definitely, I would strongly recommend that you get in touch with Leader CNC Technologies. Thanks, Paul. Thank you.